Glasgow bank robber, the bandwagon bandit, because he would wear U of L or UK gear during the crimes. Tonight, WLKY has new surveillance video from two holdups in Louisville. Mark Vanderhoff is in the newsroom with what he found in court records. Mark? Vicki, William Grubbs is accused of at least six robberies in Kentucky and southern Indiana. And according to investigative files, this northern Kentucky man was caught twice with cash and bank robbery notes. He had a red U of L hat, a U of L shirt, and I believe okay, they were. Okay, hold on, sir. Red U of L hat, what? Red U of L shirt. Yes, large like U of L emblem on the front. That was the 911 call from the U S Bank on Town Center Drive in Louisville. William Grubbs is charged with that crime. Did you see the weapon? Uh, no, ma'am. I believe he passed a note. Police say it's Grubbs in this surveillance video. He gives the teller a note demanding money, then leaves with $1,600 in cash. Grubbs was arrested less than two hours later in northern Kentucky. Police say this Saturn he was driving had a stolen license plate. They searched the car and found a demand note and the money. Grubbs was released from jail five days later, then arrested again. You don't mind chatting for a while? We'll see how it goes. No, I, I, I don't want to try that. This is after his second arrest on June 25th. Grubbs was pulled over in this Cadillac with $3,600 and another demand note linked to a robbery in Greensburg, Indiana. This is surveillance video from a May 2nd robbery at the U.S. Bank in Springhurst. Police say Grubbs also robbed that bank and they believe he was fueling a gambling addiction. They say he visited a casino after two of the robberies. I hope it's something you sought help for or something you don't think you need help for. But from the way I looked at it, that's what I saw that led to the issues. Grubbs is being held at Louisville Metro Corrections on a $50,000 bond. He is due back in court in September for cases in both Jefferson and Oldham counties. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.